fuck it, we'll be fine. We're going to be okay. Um, however, some people that aren't going to be okay, all right, maybe we've already found out that they aren't okay, um, are these people who decided to go 12,500 feet underwater um, in, a, in, a, in a submarine that some guy made. Some guy made it, and uh, he he's he controlled it with a video game controller, right? And all these people paid two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. That's a quarter of a million dollars, all right, to get inside of this thing and to go see the ruins of the Titanic. Um, rich people are getting bored. That's the thing. Rich people are getting very bored. And uh, they're running out of things. They're like, hey, all the all the dead people we have now are, I mean, I want to see old dead people. I want to see wreckage from another time period. We have so much new shit. It's like, uh, it's like art. People don't want to see modern art. They want to see the fucking Mona Lisa. They want to see the old shit. And if that means getting in a submarine that some guy made in his backyard and uh, trusting him. I mean, it sounds crazy, right? It sounds crazy, but these people, they saw they saw something. I guess there's a really old guy in there who, I mean, fine, right? He can, we can we can waste him. Might as well kill him already while they're in there. Stop taking up the oxygen. I just don't understand how you get lost. Is that what it is? I thought the thing just stopped working. I thought they got lost or something. Huh. I thought you go down. And then you just come up. And you come up. You come up until there's no more water. Isn't there like GPS too? Like they know where the Titanic is. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, this, the, there's, they're really, they're super deep. I mean, what else is, they're going to send another submarine down there to get them? I mean. I saw some infographic too about how deep they were. I'm going to try to find it so I can put it up. Yeah. It's like they're 12,500 feet below the surface, which so, is like. I don't know. It's absurd. Oh yeah, it's absolutely absurd. I mean, it's it's where it's where the Titanic should be, not where fucking anyone else should be. Realistically, I mean, some people feel bad. Some people feel bad. I don't. I mean, you're you're at a level of wealth that you're rubbing it in people's faces. They're like, there's people who are starving to death in the streets. There's people who have nowhere to live. There's people to you know they they have. They can't take care of anything in their lives. They have no health care. And you're so privileged that you'll just trust some guy. Go And you're like, you just hear it. It's just like people who go up into space. When Jeff Bezos takes people into space, there's no, this is no different. Except the fact that Jeff Bezos has substantially more money and probably better equipment than, uh, than you know, MacGyver over here. Steve Jobs in his fucking, in his garage. Um, is this it? They're quite deep, guys. They're they are uh, they're far, you know. And what I think it is, not only are rich people very bored, but they're very business minded naturally. They have to be because they have all this money, regardless of whether they got it through um, through uh, inheritance, right? Whether they inherited it or not, or whether they had business, they're forced to be. They're forced to be business-minded. They're forced to be money-minded. And they probably went down there with the... It's, it was probably like a uh, like a Shark Tank-esque interview down there, right? Like, this guy was like, look at this. We can... Someday, if we make thousands of these things, it'll be affordable. People can come down here. We can do this. And all it takes is this, uh, this Atari fucking uh, controller... On a bulb TV, it's like it's like uh, we're in the '90s again. It's like we're in the late '80s. We can just fuck around on an S SNES, and we uh, we're at the bottom of the ocean. So this is the guy. Oh wait, they're this, all the way down there. This is the image of where they're at. Fuck. Where's so at the top is a normal boat. That's like, yeah, that's like a regular, you know, tanker. Yeah. This is an upside down Empire State Building. Okay. That's an empire, upside down uh, Statue of Liberty. 
And now 3,000 feet is where, like, those crazy huge, like, mythical squid swim. Right. At 3,000 feet. And then 4,000 feet where sperm whales, you know, go about their day, which is just still crazy deep. Right. It's, you know, two, four Empire State Buildings. And, and then, then there. <laughs> there's nothing until you get to where these people are. Um, which, again, is, is, I mean, that's where they more or less signed up to be, right? You can't feel that bad for them. Um, because, again, there's, I think there's two reasons, right? They went down there because they wanted to buy this guy's idea. They had faith in him, right? People thought Steve Jobs was crazy, guys. People thought, you know, you're going to have what? An internet, an endless communication fucking pipeline? I mean, you're going to do all that? There's, you know, people thought he was crazy. And then, boom, Apple, biggest fucking thing in the world, biggest, most revolutionary. What if this worked? If this worked, I mean, this guy's a genius then if it worked. Um, but what I wonder is, did he test it? Is this his test? Is he like, guys, we're going to go under? We I might. think he definitely tested it. He had, but... 12,000 feet this has to be the first time he did that when do you think he told them on the way down he's like this is uh, just letting you guys know this is our first time going this deep we're gonna be fine I promise you we're gonna be fine 